Hey there, I'm Diana. Welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me today. So today I wanted to dive in and talk all about 2024. I wanted to share some of my goals with you, kind of share what my vision for the year is and kind of really get into that goal setting mode and thinking ahead to the rest of the year. So I would love to hear what some of your goals are for the year. And if you're still here, thanks for joining me. I am doing some conscious work right now to clear space for new things in my life, to consciously choose and decide certain things, and to consciously try to push some things that are just no longer for me away. So we're going to dive into that and talk a little bit more about that. But let's take it topic by topic and dive into 2024 goals. So if you like chatty vlogs, this one's for you. So here's in a nutshell, in case you just want to watch this next minute and then click out because you don't care what my goals are. My vision for my channel this year, and I'm going to get into this a little bit more when I get into my six kind of goal areas, which are social media, blogs, investments, family, travel, and wellness. And when I get into the family especially, I want to talk a little bit more about privacy and just some of my goals for that this year. But in a nutshell, the past couple years have been really eye-opening because I've realized that you can do this whole social media thing as a career, as a job, you can make a really decent amount of money and you don't have to give up your privacy for that. You know, in the early days, we were in this kind of weird mishmash of like, is this a job? Is this not a job? Can I say this is my job? I have to file taxes. You know, it was just a really weird spot. And then we kind of crossed that threshold to where being a creator was an acceptable thing. People started talking about it. You'd see other creators out at Disney and it really kind of grew as this like acceptable thing, which was exciting but then you kind of had to cross this threshold of well I dived in when it really wasn't necessarily kind of looked upon as a business so what things do I need to change and so I've really done some work the past couple years subconsciously I think and consciously um, trying to figure out what that meant for me in particular and so this is where I've landed for 2024 I am still making videos on YouTube because hi here I am um, but they're gonna be a bit different format and I realize some people are bummed out about that and I think they're probably already about the 60 or so people that unsubscribed I was thankful for the journey that we had the past decade or so that I've been making videos, but it's just not what serves me now. Serves me, serves my family, and what is best for us now. Um, so if that is where our journey parted, you're not watching this video, so I bid them adieu. And I want to move forward attracting the people that are positive, positively charged to me. I want to attract people that are giving to me because the thing that I realized very distinctly, especially making videos in 2023, is that there's a lot of takers and especially in the YouTube space, there's a lot of takers. And what I mean by that is that there's some people that are just inherently a little bit more demanding of your time, of your space, of knowledge about you, and they don't give anything. They may not give any positivity. They don't necessarily give any conversation back. They just take. Um, and so when I started becoming kind of more aware to that, and even I think I've been aware to it for a while, but just being able to kind of frame some language around that, I was really able to start to try to put into perspective what serves me now at this phase in life versus what I was doing before. So when I started doing the kind of come along with me during my day type of vlog worked well. It's pretty much what everyone was doing on YouTube at that point. Um, but the thing that I've realized the past couple years, especially working now around a lot of bloggers who operate completely differently, is that you give up a lot of your own personal privacy when you operate in that sense and you really don't have to. Um, it's kind of refreshing. The past couple years have been really refreshing. Working more in the blogging and affiliate marketing space where you can do these fun, creative things and you can still connect with people and you still have a community, but you don't have to like, this sounds a little harsh, but you don't have to like sell your soul to do it. Like, not everyone needs to know every single inch of my day. And so that's a bit of a departure from literally where I started. Um, and like I said in the video, I think that I literally said the final vlog, um, you know, I'm thankful for those videos because they got me started. We got so many amazing opportunities because of what we've done on YouTube. We've gone to Disney umpteen times. We got to do Disney cruises. I went to beaches 
um, just Great Wolf Lodge, all these amazing experiences that we had as a family because of me doing social media. But I've realized that especially at this time and place, I'm now in my 40s, the kids are getting older, I wanna give them some space to be their own individual people without a whole bunch of noise. Um, and I, quite frankly, feel like I found a better mix for where I'm at right now. So, that being said, if you're still here, um, then I feel like we're probably in positive alignment and let's look forward to the journey ahead in 2024. Um, if you saw my reel on Instagram and me kind of referring to the, what I'm, what I've done other places in this video, you know, I really said in that short snippet, it was like 30 seconds, positivity, creating space for things that are meant for us. Um, and just that joyful abundance really what I'm going to be focusing on this year. And so if you're used to me just being like, here's my coffee, here's what I made for breakfast, here's what I'm going to get at Target, here's what I'm going to do there. You're gonna, I think that you're probably going to be like, whoa, wait, left field, what happened? Joyful abundance, what are we doing here? But I think the thing they need to realize is that when you're just seeing like, you know, here's my day, I cleaned the bathroom, I did some laundry, I, like you're just seeing a checklist you're actually not really seeing the person. So what we're gonna delve into is a little bit of that positivity, of me sharing what was working for me. I'm gonna share topic specific videos that I think can be helpful to you as an audience. I'm still gonna be sharing travel tips, hacks, packing, planning, all those things that I feel like I've done in the past that have been helpful and that people literally still search out. Some of my most searched out videos are restaurant reviews and resort reviews and planning videos that I did for travel six and seven years ago. People are still watching those. That's pretty cool. Every time back to school rolls around, my backpack reviews, people are asking questions on them and watching them and buying. Um, and so that is the space where I feel very much in alignment right now, like being helpful and impactful in a space that is positive and giving. So I'm trying to get out of the space of having a lot of take and pull for me and it being a mutual, giving, positive relationship. And just being in joyful alignment with what I'm doing here on social media because it's not the only thing on the list. So there are five, and if we're being honest, a lot more um, than even is on this list things that demand my attention, especially in 2024. So I want to make sure that I'm being fair to all the different areas. And so that's what I think, you know, this year is going to look like. Very topic specific videos that are helpful in nature that I feel like are putting something positive out in the world. People are getting something positive back from them and they're sending positivity back to me. And that's, that's the name of the game. So if you want to know in a nutshell what I'm going to be doing, that was it. So let's dive into the six areas that I have goals. Um, and I kind of tackled basically the first one right off the bat, so that way anyone that didn't want to see her for all six of these could click out. Um, but for 2024 goals, I have social media, blogs, investments, family, travel, and wellness. Not in any particular order, to be honest. Um, so for social media, I'm planning on posting one video a week on here on YouTube. If there's additional videos, it's like a bonus, or I've been traveling and I have extra travel vlogs. Um, and I'm going to be doing some more fun videos. You know, I did the kind of you choose my Disney day the last time I was there. It was super, super fun. I'm going to be doing travel for some of my other sites, Moms with Mouse Ears and things like that. So I'm going to be taking you along with the kind of behind the scenes of that over here. And when we get to the third one, which is investments, um, I'll take you kind of along the behind the scenes of what we're doing with that and kind of how that's going for us as well, too. Um, so it's going to be more topic specific. There'll be like check-in type of vlogs. I don't really intend for any of them being from like morning, noon to evening type of style anymore. But that being said, you may come out, come along for like snippets of my day. If I'm going to go, you know, to one of our properties and go, you know, try to find blinds for it or whatever. I don't know. Anyways, I'll take you along for those specific things that we have going on. Um, and so then that's pretty much it in social media is one video a week on YouTube. Um, I do really good on posting Instagram, Facebook, keeping a presence, those places. 
Um, if you follow me on TikTok, it's a lot of times the same things that I post at other places are just shorter clips pulled out of some of my other vertical video stuff. So I'm really not concerned with setting a super rigid schedule for those, which I realize is very counterintuitive if someone only does social media, but that brings me down to my next goal for 2024 or goal section, which is the blogs. And those have taken up a lot more of my focus. The past year I've laid some foundations that I think are going to be great to keep building upon for 2024. And so I am planning on putting more of my focus over on the blogs. The really nice thing about blogs and bloggers in general is that you put out information, people search it out. If it's evergreen information, they're just continually searching it out and they don't get hyper involved in your business, which is lovely. Um, it's been actually really refreshing to kind of hang out in that space um, for the past couple of years and it's really what kind of made me decide to kind of put a clear line in the sand of like, our privacy is worth something. And so um, I'm gonna keep building the blogs and through that space, it's kind of blogs and affiliate marketing, which goes across into social media, but really affiliate marketing works the best in the blogosphere. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to continue developing those. That's really what has a lot of my attention. And you'll see videos that align more with what I'm doing on the blogs rather than here's my day, I got my coffee, we're going to go work on the blog now. And then it's like six hours later and I'm making dinner. Like that is serving no one. Like no one cares about that. It was painful to even edit, <laughs> right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a video about Pacifica items that we love and we use here at our house. And that was what the blog was on. And it's actually serving people. I don't care about the vanity numbers. It really just, this is the crazy thing. And after you've been doing this long enough, you realize I would much rather connect with a hundred super aligned people than have vanity metrics of a bajillion that no one's really aligned and they're all just like energy vampires. Like, give me the 100 super aligned, like positive charged people all day long. I want that to be my community. I want it to be community of giving, not taking, and I want it to be a community of positivity. So I've really been working hard at getting rid of those takers, and I think it's working. Um, so that's social media and vlogs, slightly related, and it all ties into affiliate marketing, which is what I've been focusing on the past couple years. Someone asked on one of my most recent videos, what do you do for work? If I had to boil it down to like a phrase, it's affiliate marketing. Um, next one, investments. I have not as of this point, you know, I've always had like a really strict rule that there's certain things I just do not talk about in my videos. You can probably guess what those are if you've been watching me long enough. Some of them I'm not even going to say because I don't, there's no need to say it. I just don't talk about them. But I've also had this like really clear line of like, I am not your financial advisor. I'm not going to give anyone financial advice. I am not your lawyer. I'm not going to give you legal advice. Like those are not the things that I do in my channel. And I've seen some of my friends go off and like have channels where like that's what they do on their channel but that's what serves them that's not what serves me that's not what I want to do I, I'm not here to give anyone financial advice I don't want to share about our finances I just it doesn't serve me the one thing I will say is then by taking that position people are able to just kind of wildly kind of guess I think at like what is actually going on and so like when you don't give anything then there's a lot of empty space where people can just insert whatever they want so what I will start sharing not necessarily from the point of again I'm not your financial advisor not from the point of advice or anything like that I want to share some of the behind the scenes of what we are doing that is serving us because I do feel like I've hit a point where we have gotten to a place in our lives in our 40s where it's really quite good, quite frankly. Um, and I feel like if I can help cheerlead or motivate or just like honestly, like the space that we're in, you have like the majority of the world that's out there like living the overextended American dream and like literally nothing against that. If that's what you do, like you do you. 
but when you are kind of going down a different path, um, you can kind of get a lot of pushback and a lot of noise and feel like you're kind of the only person like living this path. And so I felt like I needed to say a little bit more about what we are doing because just to honestly kind of represent like that lane, I guess. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about our investments. We have always kind of had a lot of interest in real estate going on in the background. If you watch me for years, you probably know that I literally used to work at a real estate place in the marketing department. Um, but we've always had an interest kind of beyond that as well. We haven't just moved every couple of years simply for my husband's job. I mean, that's obviously been a part of it, but we don't look at our house as an asset. And I'm just going to go ahead and leave that statement there because I literally just probably lost about 95% of you on that statement. If you're in the other 5%, you know where I'm getting ready to go with this. Um, something is not an asset if it's in the liability column. So if it's just taking your money and it's flowing back out again, the house that you live in is a liability. Until you're willing to sell it and then make a profit off of it, that's when that becomes an asset. Um, and so we have always had a very differing mindset on that. And so that's why I've always been kind of very hesitant to share any of that. Um, but I'm going to share what I feel is applicable. Um, so if you're in that camp, I guess hopefully you feel excited because you found someone else that does that. Again, if you're out there living in the American dream, you've got everything like probably a majority of society has it. Like totally fine like is just our perspective and our point of view like nothing you know i'm a completely easygoing person as far as this stuff goes um but yeah i do want to share a little bit more about that um oh but as far as like personal goals we're hoping to have our first first and hopefully couple real estate investments in the proper manner so up to this point we've lived in houses turn them around and flip them. Um, we've had two foreclosures. We have had, I think three or four regular houses and we've had one home that appreciated quite a bit in the time that we were in it. And so every single one of those sales, we were able to make money back out of them. Um, but it's not the traditional way that people go about investing. Those technically weren't necessarily investments because it's not like we held them and then used them as a rental property and et cetera afterwards. We want to start doing it the right way. <laughs> um, and so if you do any of this, you know exactly what I mean. Um, so it means going out, finding purpose-driven properties and then doing it that way. Anyhow, so I'm going to be sharing the behind the scene of that. Um, so that is one of our goals is to get that going kind of um, from the investment angle, the more traditional way of having real estate investments, not moving every two years. <laughs> um, okay, so the last three are fun. Family, travel, and wellness. Family. I mean, really, family is like the big reason that I do everything, and I feel like I basically just have like four years left to do what I want to be doing. So everything that I'm doing from a monetary sense, what I do for work, what I do for investing, what I do for whatever, is all to have, make the most of literally the next four to six years. Isabella is going to high school next year. Like this, this is it. I didn't realize how quickly that goes um, because just literally even the past four to five years have sped by so fast. So making the most of time that we do have, um, tying into the next one, which is travel, making the most of travel that we can do. We've got a couple fun trips planned already in the next coming, upcoming months. Um, and just really trying to be as present as possible because that is really the only thing I feel like I missed when I dipped back into that kind of employee or E mindset is, um, you know, you're just not as present and time just speeds by. So anyhow, making the most of her quality time and more privacy. Um, you're going to notice in the videos, I have especially one child that asks to be in the video. I am consciously pulling them out. I want to give them the space to become the people that they're going to become 
without the noise of the negative Nancys and the energy vampires that exist online. They're already going to get enough of it without me adding to that, right? Without me having an online presence that adds to that. Um, both of them want to have their own YouTube channels and then one of them wants to have a Twitch and like a million things that they want to have. And we're just trying to hold off on that as much as possible because I just want them to be youth as long as they can be. I mean, there's plenty of time for all of that later. Um, but making the most of the time right now um, and them becoming the people that they want to be is, is important. Um, and then travel, you know, we're hoping to go to some new destinations. We have a cruise to Alaska book next year, which is exciting. I hope I don't have to reschedule it because I might, because I forgot as well as going to be in high school when I booked it and it's a completely different schedule than their current school. Um, so <laughs> I'm going to have to work on that. But anyhow, we're hoping to go to some new destinations, get some more quality family time, even at places that we have been before. Chicago's within driving distance. We love going down there. Lots a great museums and culture and just a really like lovely city it's one of my favorite cities um so some new with some old and just making the space and time to do that we are also going back to Huntsville um in a couple months and that's going to be fun because the kids are going to get to see their friends and we still have family there and all that too um the last one wellness I am actually working with a company right now, talking with a company right now, um, about potentially working out something that I would be sharing in the coming months on this. So I won't say too much about that, but I, I do hope that works out because I feel like the timing's right for it. Um, but overall, generally in wellness, I want more meditation and yoga in my life. I used to do Zoom, if you watch me back in the early days, like the early, early days, when the kids were little, both in preschool, I used to do Zumba and yoga. I would literally do one almost every single day. Like I'd have a yoga day and then a Zumba day and then a yoga day and then a Zumba day. And it was my routine. It was my structure. I loved it. We went to the Y. So they had the childcare so they could drop off the kids. The building was beautiful. We lived in areas that had really nice Ys. And um, there was one in Illinois and one in Michigan. And it was a big part of my routine. And I was obviously a little healthier because of it. I had more wellness. So... This year is going to be more of a focus on wellness, and I definitely feel like meditation, time for reflection, creating that space is going to be really, really important. I also need the yoga, not just for the practice and the space, but for the flexibility. I can tell a huge, huge difference, and I've always been a fairly flexible person because of being a dancer back in the day. Um, but yoga is really important for that, so I need to get that back into my routine. So that is my overall goal for wellness and hopefully a little couple additional things that I will talk more about in future videos but that's overall my 2024 goals in a nutshell I am excited about this year I just know that there's gonna be a lot of new this year so I'm just trying to prepare myself to make as much space as possible to clear out any of the old that is not serving me, no longer fits me, just is no longer what I need. So that way we can open up some space for new things coming in and dive into those. Um, I would love to hear what some of your 2024 goals are, what you're going to be working towards this year, what's new and fresh for you. Are you completely just focused on family and routine this year? Are you diving into some new ventures? Um, I do have a couple exciting projects that are carrying over from last year. One in particular, which I won't get into, but um, <laughs> it's a product thing and just started down the road in 2023 and didn't really love the quality. And so I kind of like hit the brakes and just put it on the back burner, but I've got to pick it back up off the burner and deal with it this year and find a different manufacturer. Um, so there's all of those kinds of things that in are going on in the background too. Um, but those are kind of like sub stories to the main six categories that I talked about. And yeah, I think it should be good. So what I have planned next, <laughs> Absolutely nothing. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm headed to Disney World. Surprised. I know you were su so surprised. 
But I'm headed back to Disney World. I'm actually very excited about this because I'm going back to the International Arts Festival, Festival of the Arts, at Epcot. And I have not gone to that. I can't remember the last year I was there. I think it was the year that I went, um, gosh, really long time ago, like six or seven years ago. And I met a bunch of you there and it was really fun. We met the boardwalk. It was so nice. And um, I think it's going to be really neat because they have a lot of just beautiful, I'm very like into the aesthetics of how things look. This is why I love buildings. It's why I love Chicago. You can get lots of great like architecture photos. I love food when it's beautiful. So I'm just really excited about that aesthetic part of the International Festival of the Arts. I'm also going down with another creator, so I'm going to introduce you to her. And I would love for you to give some positive energy back to her. And yeah, it's just going to be a really neat start to the year. So that's a really fun way to start the year. Then we're headed a few weeks after that down to Huntsville. And then there will just be things going on after that. But around the house, what I'm planning on showing you is just the behind the scenes of what I'm working on. Topic specific videos that go along with the blogs that I'm doing. So if I'm sharing, I have a blog that's going out like literally today about seven Illinois wineries. <laughs> I don't know if you want a video on that. I actually didn't take any video. It's all blog. But anyhow, um, doing videos that align with the blogs. So a lot of those are going to be fashion and beauty oriented. And then, yeah, just hopefully sharing some more of that positivity and abundance. Because that's really what I want to put out this year because I, that's what I want to attract back to me. So doing as much as I can to repel negativity bit of to do um, and really uh, get rid of anyone that's here just to kind of like suck the life out of me for lack of a better word um, those are the big goals for the year for YouTube in particular and life in general it sounds like a plan um, so hopefully you're having a great start to the year and I will be back with other videos here on YouTube make sure to follow me on the blog if you don't already it's beingmommywithstyle.com I'm also over on Instagram beingmommywithstyle over there as well too and Facebook beingmommywithstyle um, we have a great little uh, closed group community I'll try to remember to leave the link to that down below if you'd like to join us in there and if you love Disney check out moms with mouse ears because it is all Disney all the time over there and it's been quite fun like it's it's a really like jovial community and so that's why it's so enjoyable because it is a very positive community and it's a very fun community um, so feel free to join us there too I've got a group I've got Facebook I've got all the things I'll link them down below all right have a great start to 2024 and see you in the next video very soon. Thanks for watching.